Hello, I'm so sorry. Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2, where we will go on and we will talk to the newly acquired doctor, so to say. But let's see if Jacob has Come anything in. to say. Something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say, you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track, and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? I heard you were big in the Alliance. Figured we have something in common. I did some things that caught attention and stirred up the Citadel. That was after the Alliance put me on leave, though. Didn't drive a Mako through a relay or take down a Reaper, but you covered that. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. All right. Nice. Good. So we are looking for the doctor. About upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad members' powers, your weapons, and your chip. Chip. Ship. Making mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them at the research terminal. Okay, we have no upgrades yet. And yep, um, Modern is who I've been looking for. Shepard, how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Sorry, Just sorry, need more samples. sorry. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Weapon upgrades. Uh, modular techno techn technological improvements integrated into any weapon. When a weapon upgrade is obtained, it's automatically integrated into the appropriate weapon. Nice. Obtain weapon upgrades in stores and by scanning items on missions. Ah, oh, wait a second. Uh, bu 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 oh, oh, oh. Weapon upgrade plus 10 assault rifle damage upgrades, assault rifles, battle rifles, and machine guns for your entire squad. Uh, this upgrade strengthens the weapon mass effect via generator, increasing the velocity of each slug fired. That's neat. Plus tech power damage. Standard Omni tools are calibrated with a wide neural input tolerance range so they can be used effectively by any race by tuning the inputs of the omni tool to match it, the specific neural patterns of the user responsiveness and power can be greatly increased once turned in this manner the omni tool is almost unusable by anyone but the wearer and it must be constantly recalibrated to subtle neural shifts nice prototypes ah wait i haven't been in here right ah okay yes i have i'm sorry Namor upgrade is a modular technology that can be added to your armor to improve its defense protective all medical capabilities when you obtain new armor upgrades they will automatically be integrated into your entire squad's armor purchase new armor upgrades from stores on hub worlds or discover this technology to build new armor upgrades by scanning items on missions although prototype technology is advanced and powerful it is as also extremely expensive to produce and often usable 
when used. Ah, unstable. Usable. Un Anyways, you know. Thanks to Cerebrus Advance, Science Facilities, and the genius of Dr. Morden Solos, you have one of the few facilities in the world capable of producing these technologies. Each technology you produce will be powerful, but will upgrade only a single member of your squad. Discover prototype technology by scanning advanced technology on missions and discussing research with your squad members. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, we need to go through here. Cerebrus Assault Armor designed for shock troops who are expected to turn the tide of battle against creatures or forces that would decimate normal soldiers. The troops demanded three things in its design, shields and armor thick enough to last against a superior foe and a rechargeable pack to extend a heavy weapon power cell. The only drawback of the power at this weight, which is the troops carry as a point of pride, they have a saying, out of shape going in, in shape coming out. Heavy weapon, ammo capacity plus 10, shield plus 10 and health, that's nice. New weapon, the collector main weapon used the same principles as a human assault rifle but its organic components clearly set it apart. Its power source seems to be an internal organ with biotic capacity. Its ammunition resembles pellets of metallic enamel that strip shields of enemies with deadly efficiency. Heavy weapon array plus 15% weapon ammo capacity. The power cell technology used by heavy weapons is fairly old but can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shot per power cell and allow for more total shots to be fired. Inferno armor. Built specifically for Cerebrus field officers, the Inferno armor, it looks a little bit li like Iron Man, right? Has a six a virtual intelligence dedic de dedicated to recognizing signs of stress and medical trauma. This application helps assess soldiers but can be useful in any high risk situation situations. The Inferno's micro frame computer also manages biotech amp and Omni tool power and micro servers help the rarer's movement to counteract the armor's weight. Okay, oh well. New weapon the Lieberschaft 280 shotgun or Vistic Eviscerator is of human civilian design and has a unique ammunition generator. Where most modern firearms sh shave off ships or pellets from an ammunition block, the M22 shaves off serrated metal wedges designed to fly aer aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armor piercing cap capabilities and its tight grouping helps wound ballistics at longer ranges than standard, than, than standard shotguns. This design also violates several intergalactic weapon treaties, so the M22 is not distributed to militaries, um, plus tech power damage to modern. All right. Ah, oh, hello. That's what I like. All right. Requires more um, palladium. Cerebrus adapted this suit for you out of salvage collector technology. The collector's chitinous armor is flexible and even tougher than ballistic fibrous. Its organic constru uh, construction allows it to be self-healing and the muscle-like tissue that assists movement ensures it's comfortable to wear despite its weight. Hmm, I wonder. I would like to have... Okay, the armor I would like to have. Okay, and the ship enhancements. The Normandy presents the cutting edge of Cerebrus fleet technology, but further improvements are possible and could assist you in su succeeding in missions. I wonder what that will be. Discover possible enhancement by top let me know if upgrades seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. All right. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs I'm just sorry. in case. Can't be too careful. You also said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Mm-hmm. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard Kirihi died on Vermeer. Not enough equipment for operation. Still managed to take down facility. Good captain. Dedicated. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. 
Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body, commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate, stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Well... Okay. Nice talking with you, <coughs> I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Yep. Thank you for the conversation. So, what we're actually going to do now is... Take a look at the research terminal. If... It is going to be displayed to me again. Where's the research? I'm sorry. I want to investigate. Okay, I don't know if I read something which ain't there, right? There is Jacob. Do you have anything to say? What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using Omni That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Commander. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Okay, Maybe nothing... We'll talk later. Yep. Nothing new from her. And we are going to have a little chat with Miranda. Hope that she has anything maybe to say to, you know, get some Paragon. And then we are going to see... Another colony's gone. Fields, I heard. Yep. That's not far from New and then we are going to take a look what or where or if we are going to fly anywhere today. So three more stations. Um, yeah, it's maybe a little bit of a boring episode today, Commander, but well. What can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Yeah, take a look. Okay, that's very, very expensive. Okay, I was thinking about the assault rifle damage there, but we go for the armor. Okay, great. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. Anything else? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. So if... After the next couple of missions, actually... Did you hear? Another colony went missing. It's gonna be the same. You, I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Then I will skip that in the future. And not gonna make this round. How may I help you, Commander? I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Okay, I'd suggest... We are quickly now, before we end this episode, we are, I think, right now around a minute over, so to say. We are gonna... Yeah, I don't wanna go in there. We are gonna go back to... Oh my god, I need to go around... No, there we go. To the bridge, and then... We are gonna... I think I got a message, right? 
Alright, Cerebrus Command Request. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus' team. I don't know much about Garrus' talk to you about what happened. I don't know the specific myself, only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastards gang. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at the squad as a failure on his part. And it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was take Taking back Omega, Omega, sorry, from the gangs, he died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give him anything to get him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. U.S. Commander, now, please, if you can help him, stop blaming himself, and please don't tell him that I sent you this. Thanks, Nala Butler. All right, will do. Commander Shepard, yeah, read that. Um, report sell us you've been operating in the omega nebula we would like to look into the situation on lorek a nearby planet in the father system scan the planet for base where we believe eclipse smirks are holding all right that we already had on the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive i need you to come and talk me to at citadel all right research unlocked advanced mineral scanner nice Um, was he at in engineering? That's the... Uh, no, he was not. We are quickly going to talk to Garrus. If I find him. What? Yes, that's... Ah, uh, no, that was a research thingy. Yeah, sorry. Um, This episode might take a little bit longer, but... That is just sometimes how it is, right? Okay, elevator it is. He ain't the ah Yes, no, you see and, and no he's not in engineering. Garrus, I mean, obviously. Who else would I mean? Let's see. Maybe we have a conversation there, maybe not. If not, then so bloody be it but i think he was here right shepherd need me for something have you got a minute can it wait for a bit i'm in the middle of some calibrations have you got any upgrade ideas for the normandy's weapon systems a few yeah here take a look oh hello Thanex Cannon. The two in design Thanex Magnetic. Ha oh my goodness. Well, now I can craft the bloody armor, right? Cannon is now installed on you. Not is, is it is installed, right? This cannon is powerful enough to destroy the collectors. Ah, no, I need iridium and platinum. We have 15,000. All right. Good. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. Talk to you later, Garrus. Okay, Only again, sorry. That was maybe, just maybe a little bit of a waste of time. Forgive me. So, we then quickly go to the bridge and find us a new location. So, we actually, for the next episode, have a plan where we want to go. I think that is a very, very important thing to do. In my simple, humble no mind. For you, Commander. Thank you. It would actually be nice to have more companions, right? Okay, explore the Normandy's crash site. Wait, let's look, take a look at the journal. Shall we actually go to the console? If I find the Citadel.
Only half our fuel remains. Okay, we gonna explore the Normandy crash site in the next episode. With the fuel, I'm not yet certain what is gonna happen if we run out of fuel, right? This is something we are hopefully gonna find out soon. For now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode where we do three things, I think. First of all, we are going to explore the two planets and then Alkira and have some fun. For now, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty.